Well, this is certainly not the outcome that, that, that we wanted or desired without question. Um, you know, we came out and, and didn't do a lot of things well. And, and Carolina came out, made some shots, rebounded the ball, and um, you know, put us in a, put us in a tough spot in terms of, of how they played and how we we didn't play the way that we needed to play. Um, and then from there, it just kind of snowballed. You know, we had some guys come out, and um, I thought a couple shots didn't go down for us early. We had some guys pressing, trying to make something happen, which I understand. But you know, we we have to do a better job of realizing what moment that we're in or where we're at, and um, try to come away with some different things or better things, um, especially on the offensive end and, and rebounding the basketball also. Question. Danny, what was your first indication that things weren't going well at all today? Um, well, for us, it's the game. I mean, you know, you get out here in the game. I mean, I've been involved with this long enough where um, things aren't always going to go right for you, you know. Um, throughout the course of the day, whatever it is, whether you're on a road trip and the bus is late or the food is a little bit late. I mean, you know, there are all types of things that could happen. You know, it's just a matter of when you get to the game, you still got to be locked in and focused and ready to go. I mean, just from the standpoint of I'm sure you went into the game thinking your team had a chance and to do some things. And just was there any point in that opening barrage? I think it was 18 nothing when – it just looked like it wasn't going to be your day. Um, it started, I mean, it, it did not end up being our day. But, you know, throughout the course of that, when they go on that run, Connor, I thought we had some opportunity to score the ball. We just didn't go in for us. Um, and as a basketball player, you know, I've said this many, many times before, you're going to miss more than you make. But it can't affect what you do execution-wise on the other end of the floor. And I think a couple times, not a couple times, a few times that did happen with guys. They miss a shot. They were discouraged. Um, upset with themselves and, and didn't think next play. And, um, you know, we, we obviously we, we lost Cam Johnson far too many times. And when we got to him, we had low hands. And at his height, he's able to elevate up and knock down shots. And um, they did a great job of finding him. They did a great job of finding him. And, and we didn't stay attached to him the way we should have. How does that happen against a guy that's shooting 46 percent? I don't know. I mean, we, we, we knew what he was going into the ball game. You know, scouting report wise, there was no secret. Um, you know, we just ha didn't do a good enough job of IDing him and, and being there on the catch and taking away his airspace. Brandon was over 12 today, and he's, over the last five, six games, he's really kind of struggled. Is there any rhyme or reason, or is it just one of those shooting slumps that you got to get out of? It's a shooting slump. Um, you're not going to make them unless you shoot. And, and, and for me, as a player, um, I think it's better you go 0 or 12 than 0 or 2 or 0 or 3. You got to stay aggressive because that's the only way you're going to make a shot is to continue to shoot. Do you see him starting to get frustrated or how's he handling this? Um, I think whenever you, you have a, a game where, you know, you don't shoot the ball the way you normally shoot it, it's always frustrating as a player because you work so hard on your craft. Um, and Tonight was a night where he didn't make shots. Tonight was a night where he had some good opportunities to, to knock down some shots. Um, there were a couple shots that he was pressing, just trying to make something happen that uh, we could have got a better shot. But I understand that to a certain extent. But you know, it's you know, just ball ain't going in the hole for him, and he's just got to regroup and continue to be ready on the catch and uh, jump up there and shoot the ball confidently because that's the only way it's going to go in. I mean. You know, best, best players in the world shoot the ball 10 times. They're going to miss six. They're going to shoot 40% and be labeled a great shooter. That's just, that's just how it works. Is this team improved the way you thought it would at this point in the year? Um, not after this game. You know, I thought we did some things up until this point. But tonight, you know, or today, um, you know, I think rebounding the ball defensively, um, we didn't do this the way that we have been. And Florida State, I don't think we rebounded the ball either. But I think on average, rebounded the ball fairly well. But I mean, it's, it's a lot of things for us. You know, we, we turned the ball over far too many times tonight, um, which led to some easy opportunities for guys. And I think that's where Cam got free a lot of times in cross matchups on the turnover, live ball turnover. So, you know, there's, there's always room for improvement without question. Um, and, and we certainly have some areas that we need to continue to work on to get better. This is the most lopsided home loss Wake has had in this building. What, what is your reaction to that? 
we're all disappointed. I mean, you know, you're never happy to lose a game. Um, Danny, what was Jalen's deal? Why didn't he start? And then why didn't he enter the game until about eight and a half minutes in? Um, well, he didn't enter because I didn't put him in. Um, and he didn't start because I didn't start him because he overslept. So when you make a mistake like that, there are consequences that you got to deal with. And that's across the board for everyone on our team. Hey, what do you think of the, the crowd atmosphere today? I mean, in the stands, it was high 75% Carolina blue. Any thoughts on that? Um, no, I mean, it's whenever you play a, a big four school, I mean, they're, they're going to bring fans. You're a big four school, too. Yeah, I know that. I mean, do, would you rather have a home crowd here for your team? Uh, would I, I, every game I play, I'd like to have the majority of the fans cheering for us, but that's not realistic. Uh, at home, you like to hope that that happens a lot more than often, though. But, you know, the, like I said, this is a big four school. We're in driving distance, and, you know, teams go get a lot of support from a lot of different areas. So, you know. Anything else for Coach? Coach, what was the halftime message? Battle, compete, battle, compete, battle, compete. You know, that's, that's always a mantra, you know. And um, not enough of it tonight. Maybe some in spurts, but for the duration of the game, not enough across the board. Were there some guys that gave you some good fight even when, you know, the odds kind of looked long? I thought that there were some guys that gave you some energy late. Um, yeah, but I mean, you know, less. I'll, I'll go back and watch film, but across the board, you know, as a group, that's what we're judged upon. Yeah. And, and, and as a group, it, it, we got to do better. Yep. Thank you, Coach. Yep. Thank Thanks, you. Coach. Yep.